What was the verb to give? Do you remember the verb to give? Dar. Dar. Good. So how would you say I will give? Dare. Good. And we will give? Daremos. Good. And he will give or she? You formal it? Dara. Good. They, you guys? Daran. And you informal? Daras. Good. How would you say, will you guys give it to me? Now, me, me, can also mean to me, so we don't need that to. And out of these little words, me, and what is the word for it? Lo. Lo. So out of these little words, me and lo, the personal one, the one referring to the person, comes first. Will you guys give it to me? Me lo daran. Good. Me lo daran. What if this... It was a feminine thing. Me la daran. Good. Me la daran. And I should clarify, this isn't a way of requesting, like in English, will you guys give it to me? Like, can you guys give it to me? This is more of a literal question. Are you guys going to give it to me? Will you guys give it to me? If you want to get this meaning of will you, like can you, you will just use can you in Spanish. The word for something is algo. A-L-G-O. Algo. Good. So how would you say, they will give you something, and we mean informal you? Remember the thought process. The thought process must be first, who is doing the verb? Who is doing the verb? They will give. That's the first place. Daran. You. Something. Te daran algo. Te daran algo. Good. How would you say, they will give it to you, still speaking informally, they will give it to you? Te lo daran. Good. Te lo daran. They will give it to you. Good. How would you say, they would give it to us? They will give it to us. So it's nos lo daran. Good. Nos lo daran. They will not give it to us? No nos lo daran. Good. No nos lo daran. So we saw that me, te, nos can mean me or to me, you or to you, us or to us, or even in some other circumstances for me or for us, for you. Me, te, nos can also mean myself, yourself and ourselves. For example, you can say I give myself and you would just use me. So how would you say I give myself? Me doy. Me doy. If you want to say, I realize in Spanish, you say, me doy cuenta. Cuenta is something like account, to give yourself account of, to take account of. That's how you say, I realize in Spanish. If you say, realizar, it means to realize like a project, to bring into fruition. No. So you say, I give myself account, cuenta. So how would you say that? Me doy Cuenta. Me doy cuenta. This means I realize. You realize, talking informally? Te das cuenta. Good. Te das cuenta. How would you make that a question? Te das cuenta? Good. Te das cuenta? This is used a lot conversationally. Te das cuenta? Do you realize? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Good. We realize. We realize. We give ourselves a count. Nos damos cuenta. Good. Nos damos cuenta. So, me can mean to me, for me, from me. It can mean myself. Te can mean you or to you, from you, yourself, and nos, us, to us, or ourselves, or each other. We said that you might hear nos vemos. We see each other as a way to say ciao, goodbye, nos vemos, we... See each other later. See you later. Now, you get all of these different meanings with me, te, and nos. But the ones beginning with el, so lo, la, los, las, they do change to get these different meanings. So, when we say to him, or to her, or to you, formal, or to them, we go from lo and la, and los and las, to le and les. 
So lo and la becomes le, and los and las become less. For example, lo doy means I give it. Now, if I want to say I give him, what I actually mean is I give to him. In which case, here we must change to le. If I say I give her, I don't mean I'm going to pick her up and give her to somebody. I probably mean I give to her. In which case, we're not going to use la, we're going to use le. So let's practice this a little bit. So we said dar is to give. Now, if you say I give it, how do you say that? Lo doy. Lo doy. And I give them, and you still are talking about the things you are giving. Los doy. Los doy. But now, if you want to say I give them, and you mean to them. So remember, you might not even say this to in English. But what you mean is I give to them. Then this los is going to change. Les doy. Les doy. Good. The word for something was... Algo. Algo. So let's say I'm giving them something. Les doy algo. Les doy algo. Good. So this is to them. To speak. To speak began with a silent H. I don't know if you remember this verb. Hablar. Hablar. Good. So how do you say I speak? Hablo. Hablo. How would you say I have spoken? I have? E. Yes. E. So I have spoken. E. Is it hablando? No, this is speaking and spoken is very similar. E hablado. E hablado. Good. I have spoken to him. Le he hablado. Good. Le he hablado. I have spoken to him or to her. Huh? Could be either. Now, what if you wanted to say, we have spoken to him? Le hemos hablado. Good. Le hemos hablado. So this le, it could be the lo to le or the la to le. So many meanings are included here. It could be we have spoken to him, we have spoken to her, we have spoken to you formal, speaking to male or female. Le hemos hablado. How was he has, or she has, or it has from haber? A. Ah, good. H-A. Ah. He has spoken? A hablado. Good. They have spoken? An hablado. An hablado. They have spoken about it. They have spoken it. Lo han hablado. Good. They have spoken to him or to her. Le han hablado. Good. Le han hablado. They have spoken to them. I mean, one them has spoken to a different them. They have spoken to them. Les han hablado. Very good. Les han hablado. Good. So, we had ver to see... The version for I see was a little bit irregular. How was it? Veo. Veo. Good. A little bit irregular. It's not mo, as it should be. V-O. It's uh, veo. V-E-O. Good. So, if you want to say I see it, or I see him, or I see you, talking formally. Lo veo. Lo veo. What if you saw a feminine thing, or if you saw her, or if you saw you, formal, talking to a female? La veo. La veo. What if you were seeing las casas? What if you meant I see them, and you're referring to feminine things? Las veo. Las veo. And what else could it mean then, other than I see them talking about things? I see them meaning women. Or, what else? You, females. Yeah, I see them, females. I see you guys, females. Or, I see them, feminine objects. Good. We said that the kitchen is la cocina. And to make the verb, you can just stick an R on cocina and you get... Cocinar. Cocinar, with the accent on the end. Cocinar. Now... In English, if I say, he's cooking me something, 
I can say he's cooking me something or he's cooking something for me. Both are acceptable in English. So we're not looking for the direct translation, we're looking for the feeling more than anything. We want to identify the feeling of is it, is it to me, is it for me, or is it directly me? Is he cooking me? So it's the feeling that we want to get our heads around more than the direct translation of whether we're using to or not in English. For example, I listen to him. Here we're using to in English. We've listened, but we don't use it with hear. I hear him. I listen to him. So we're not looking for direct translation of when we're using to and for or not. What we're trying to do is generally perceive, okay, am I being cooked? Am I being spoken? Am I coming out of somebody's mouth? Huh? Or is it indirect? Am I being cooked for? Am I being given to? So, like I said, with med and nos, it doesn't matter anyway, because they won't change. So if I want to say he's cooking me, and I mean he's directly cooking me in the oven, or if I mean he's cooking something for me, then the sentence isn't going to change anyway in Spanish. So how would you say that? He is cooking me something. He is cooking me something. Me cocina algo. Good. Me cocina algo. Now let's say he's cooking something for us. Nos cocina algo. Good. Nos cocina algo. He's cooking something for you, speaking informally. Te cocina algo. Good. So me, te, nos, we don't have to worry about them. They don't, they don't change. But if I want to say he is cooking him something, how would I say it? Le cocina algo. Very good. How would you say he is cooking them something? Les cocina algo. Good. Les cocina algo. What if you wanted to say he is cooking them? And with this them, you are referring to the things he is cooking, not to the people he is cooking for. Los cocina algo. Yeah, we don't need Sorry. the algo no. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Los cocina. Los cocina. And if he was cooking feminine things, like las tartas, the tarts, for example, how would it be? He's cooking them. Las cocina. Good. Now, if you wanted to say he's cooking them for us, and we still mean feminine things, let's stay with las tardas. He's cooking them for us. How would it be? Nos las cocina. Perfect. We don't need for or any of this. And we put the personal one first. Nos las cocina. Good. Again, what was to speak? Hablar. Good. I speak? Hablo. Good. I speak... To him? Le hablo. Le hablo. Good. And I'm speaking to them? Les hablo. Good. They are speaking to them? Les hablan. Good. 